All right, it's media day. We are talking 3-5A Division One, and we are joined with head coach Kyle Geller of Burleson Centennial. Coach, coming into this district last year after realignment, the first thing I noticed that there were six teams that had a piece of a district title the year before, and I was like, oh, my goodness, this district is going to be ridiculous. And it played out just like that. You guys, you guys finished up second, just behind the state champion team. Uh, the only team that beat you, right? They yeah, we were uh, twenty two, and they beat us both times. So, t- talk a little bit how you guys, your experience with the district last year, and, and kind of what your your now that you've gone through it once, what you hope to see next year. Obviously, you're going to have some new coaches in there, especially with that top team. But talk a little bit about that district. Well, you know, I remember when. Uh, when that district was formed on realignment day, you know, when it came out, I was like, Oh my gosh. And then I get a text from, uh, Azel's head coach, you know, coach Doris. And, and he said, I don't know who we pissed off at the UIL. (laughs) (laughs) That's one of the funniest things I started laughing, but, uh, yeah, it's a really tough district. And, and, you know, one of the things that, um uh, every like every single I've gotten to know some of the coaches in the district every single coach is a just an outstanding coach you know um even the 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 programs that didn't do so so well they've either really done well in the past or um they just didn't have the horses you know but they did a, a heck of a job with uh with who they had and and I think it showed, you know, in the playoffs and whatnot, uh, we, we represented ourselves pretty good and um, just top to bottom pretty pretty darn good, and it's only going to get better. Right, right. And it, it, it takes – sometimes it takes – it takes a moment or a game to stand out and maybe get the rest of the state's attention. Obviously, that game for you was when you handled Denton Ryan at home because uh, the people had already – had given them their fellow hours, and all of a sudden – if eyes weren't open, they were open then, and you started really getting some good shots there. Talk, talk about how excited you were after that win, and, and you guys built off of that and, and had a really yeah. That was the I, I just watched that game the other day. I'm trying to watch um, quite a few games during the spring, so uh, each you know each practice we try to work on something different. And um, that Den Ryan game was something else. We if you'd have told me we we would turn the ball over three times and beat Den Ryan. I'd have have laughed in your face, you know, and that's really what happened. We didn't play um, very clean offensively. Our defense played a heck of a game, you know, and they, and we had two or three games this year where our defense really just uh, helped us out, you know, helped the team out tremendously and held their own and offense did just enough, but we were able to run the ball uh, effectively. We didn't throw the ball real well in that game. Um, we were able to create, I think, I know we had one turnover as they were driving. And then we had a, the, the play of the game was right before half, we stop them on the one yard line. And uh, anytime you go into halftime with the lead with that, your kids feel like they have a chance, you know, and, and to our kids credit, I, you know, with the exception of that first Toledo game, I felt like they thought they could, they could beat anybody. And I've, you know, um, and that's what it does. Isn't that what it starts with? Yeah. Yeah. You know, um, we may not have some of the same talent others have, in, in especially in um, size and speed, but uh, our kids play hard. You said something in there that a lot of coaches are going to be talk, saying a lot this year. You said the phrase, with the exception of Alito, that this year is going to be the great if you look at rosters and you look at all district teams, it feels like it's going to be the great revamping of teams in this district because a lot of graduation hits with yeah. the exception of Alito. It, it seems like there's going to be that. What's it going to take to, I mean, I can't, I mean, I even talk to our guy Dixie and Dixie can't really predict who's going to come up and who's going to come down. How do you see this district with all the graduations going on and, and how you think will it, Look similar. I mean, Alito's probably gonna be a top four spot, but how about the rest of that district? Man, your your guess is as good as mine. I hope we're in that top four. <laughs> like, you know, we graduated ten starters on offense and on defense. Uh, we lost. Uh, I think we got four coming back. So we're gonna be pretty young ourselves. 
And um, you look at uh, Azel's going to be better. I know they will be. They, they don't ever stay down like, you know, they had a down year for them. Um, uh, Brewers gonna, was really young. They're going to be better, and they have some really good athletes. Um, I know that, uh, you know, Saginaw, Saginaw has got, you know, Mike's a great coach and, uh, and they're going to be better. And you saw it when, when, when we played them, we're, you know, we're beating them pretty good, but their kids never gave in. And that's a credit to, to him and his staff. I, your guess is as good as mine. You know, I, the colony, their quarterback was a sophomore last year. He'll, you know, they were, they started a bunch of sophomores. So it's actually from top to bottom. I think that our district's going to be tougher. Well, you mentioned it's going to be tougher for you guys. Uh, what's going to be tough for us as cameramen is not seeing Philip out there behind. Oh Sydney. man, yeah, he was such a joy to play. Do you have, uh, do you have somebody waiting in the wings that you'd like to talk about, or or sure. how do you hope to? I mean, you can't replace a guy like that, but how do you hope to move on from that? You know, we have uh, Iverson Moore who will be our starter this year. Iverson has started varsity football for two years, and in that, he starts at corner. And uh, we're going to be the only 5A team probably in the state that starts their quarterback both ways. And uh, we did it last year uh, with Iverson for two games. He had to start at quarterback two games. So, And then the year before that, I think he started four, game, four or five games as a sophomore. So he's got seven starts already under his belt as a quarterback in our offense. And um, – the the things that I Iverson may not be the same shifty guy as Philip, but Iverson has a live arm. Um, he's long. He might be straight line. He might be faster than Philip. Um, so it's just a matter of him going out, and uh, we have to tailor our offense to him too. We can't be exactly the same as what we were last year. You know, success or no success, you, you got to tailor to who you have. So. We plan on using his arm a little more. Hopefully we can protect for him. And if we can protect for him, he, he'll get him the ball, you know, in the passing game. So look look for us to throw the ball a little more. How about defensively? What are you guys looking like defensively? We talked about that Ryan game. Uh, do we have yeah. guys that can make those big plays and, and uh, make up for any turnovers that may happen on the other side? Well, the thing is, um, on defense, we have to get over the fact that um, – Chapman Lewis is no longer with us. Yeah. You know, Chapman is, is I think he's second on the depth chart already at Texas Tech. Wow. Uh, so we're, we're losing that kind of a player. And he was like the eraser, you know, like something could go bad. Chap's going to make the play. And, uh, man, it's such a luxury when you have one of those guys. Good gosh. So coming back behind him, we got Aiden Hicks, who's probably our best overall football player. Okay. And uh, he started on uh, – he's played varsity put football since his freshman year. And uh, and we have uh, a couple quarters. Iverson Moore is coming back. Jacob Hernandez, Cole Confessorio. We have good seconds, good depth in, uh, in our secondary and good experience. And we got three months to worry about that, right? We can figure out yeah, <laughs> yeah. in three months. Hey, I, I appreciate you joining us, Coach. Uh, oh, you bet. Especially in May. It's good luck during the, the off-season workouts, and I hope uh, it's just an exciting district as it was last year. Yeah, man, I, I really appreciate you having me on. I'm excited about it. I'm, a, You know, we're in the throes of spring football right now, so I'm I'm fired up. We had a great practice this morning, an hour and a half, man. Every guy's running after it. So love Texas high school football, man. It's the greatest, greatest uh, sport in, in America. Uh, I, we definitely concur with that, Coach. Thanks again. All right, you take care.